I'm ready for my next guest when they're ready to join me here on Talking Nachos. Awesome. So share with us who you are and what you do to help Dennis cry less inside. Hi, Paul. My name is Melanie Ariel, and I am a practice growth consultant for Fire Game Dental Marketing. Awesome. Um, we are a dental marketing company that helps dentists attract and schedule more profitable new patients um, through a fully integrated approach to marketing. I personally have been in the dental field for over 30 years. Wow. Uh, 25 of those I've spent in office. What did you do in office, Melanie? Oh, I was a little bit everything. I was an assistant, a treatment coordinator. I have a question for you. Settle uh -huh. this debate right now because my team is, was it, if you had to go back to dental office, would you want to work inside the operatory or outside the operatory? Now inside. Inside the operatory? I, I miss it. I'll be honest. Yeah. I would you miss it. the full contact arts and crafts on people that don't want to be there and pay for it. Well, you, you, that's amazing that you do that work. I always share everybody at the dental office thinks everyone else has a more difficult job. And at the end of right. the day, the truth is everyone has a difficult job in the dental office. You are 100% correct. <laughs> I agree with you 100%. I eventually, after I worked in office also had, had moved into marketing private practices. So, but I have a, a good feel for the internal side of dental practices. So, um, this you know, our pain, you know, our pain, which is great. So you, you work to help dentists market their practices and you're going to hear to share something that I'm so excited to hear about. We're talking about, we're talking about preparing your practice for success in this second half of the year. What would you like to share with our audience? Well, I mean, as everyone knows, dentistry is an extremely competitive field. A lot of practice owners may be trying to grow their practice to add an associate, add an additional location, um, possibly to set themselves up to sell in the future. Yeah. Right? But I think we kind of get into the stigma of we need to we need to cram our schedule full of patients in order to make a profit. I've, yeah. I've been there. I've, I've been in those shoes. I worked in pediatric practices. That's a big one that you usually feel that need. But at Fire Gang, we're not really just trying to target any patients just to, to fill your chairs because eventually that's not sustainable. And that's right. one of the biggest contributors to, contributors to burnout, right? Um, we're just trying to target the right patients for your particular individual practice. But one of the things, and I personally love this after working in an office that's unique about Fire Gang is that we've incorporated call coaching actually into our services. So not only are we trying to, to drive patients to your practice, but we're trying to make sure they get in your chairs, yeah. right? You can have a hundred calls a day, but if they're not being converted. At, Tell us a little bit, and this is a challenge for all practices. We have turnover, we have people leave for good reasons, challenging reasons, and the front desk is, you know, sit up at that front desk, we'll train you, and you are going to answer the phone. And sometimes we're like, great, what do I stay on the phone? So <laughs> before you get into the coaching, what are some of the... I don't want to say wrong things, but what are some of the weaknesses, practices, or you've seen people do where they haven't trained them enough or they don't project confidence to the patient? Tell our audience a little bit about that. I think one of the biggest things I've always seen over time is that, you know, you may have someone call and say, hey, do you, and it's a big one too, do, do you accept my insurance? Yeah. And immediately someone says, no, and they just let them go, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> and they have to be trained to be able to still convert that call. Whether or not you accept their insurance, they need to be, they need to know how to answer the question. And um, a lot of times, as we all know here as insiders, they're not even asking the right question. So, right. you know, do you accept my insurance? They might not even know what it, you know, what's interesting. I, people say, do you accept my insurance? What insurance do you have? They don't even know. It's a card from five years ago. So you're right. so right that you have <laughs> to know how to engage and navigate a conversation with confusion. So you guys do call coaching. I love this topic. Tell us a little more about that. Well, it's it's incorporated in our services. So we we don't charge additional for it. We want to make sure that once those patients are reaching your office, that, that your front office team is able to handle them. So we listen to the calls and we have a team that actually will reach out to your front office team, any changes they need to make to be able to convert those calls. We'll, we'll make some recommendations. Another great thing about it is it allows us to see where your calls are coming from, right? What is working well in your marketing and if any changes need to be made to actually get those right patients in the door. So it it helps us on our end. It's going to help you on your end. We're we're not just about just driving patients to your office and here, here you go, here you go. It's more about making sure they're in your chairs. And I just want to share, this is such great training that you offer. And I think it's awesome. It's baked into your services, nacho pun intended, because <laughs> that's what you need. And one of the things that the, I don't know what the word is, empathy that you have for front desk team members is when you're a dental assistant, I said this the other day, 
you know exactly what's happening. Class two, crown, extraction. Your brain is tuned in. When you're a front desk person, you just pick up the phone and anything can happen. They could be selling you a reverse mortgage. They could be complaining about their last dentist. And it's actually, I think it's really challenging on the, the minds of front desk team members. So when you give them these coaching, I don't know if they're talking points or scripts, my, my assumption is it makes them feel more comfortable and confident. Absolutely. And it takes a load off of your office manager and you as well, because you don't have time to train people how to right. answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> you and that's not what you want to do. Um, so I and I definitely know that being in an office, you just don't have the time. So it it's very helpful for practices because it's really it really helps them a lot to convert their their calls, which is one of the biggest things. That's their first. That's a patient's first interaction with your practice is that person who answers the phone. Yeah, that's a, and, and for, for better or for worse, as consumers, customers, and we judge people on it, right? You call for a haircut, you're immediately judging them. Do they do they sound like they know what they're talking about? We we'll love that. Well, before we wrap up, Mel, you also want to share that one of your practices had some great success recently or you've had an impact tell us some more about that absolutely so just to, to touch on that about a year and a half ago we had a client who came to us he was in a unique situation um, he had just dissolved a partnership which he had been with for years and was opening his own private practice fairly close to where his partnership you know was but the problem for him was he he was in a sea of competitors. He had 40 other dentists within a three mile radius. Um, when you search for his practice, his new practice, he was not showing up in search results. Um, he had invested over $15,000 in a new website, was spending thousands of dollars on marketing. He was not getting any patients in the door and he had no idea what was going wrong. So when we met with him, um, we figured out that he was still tied to that secondary office. It was impeding his ability to oh, show up in right. search engines, right? So we had to, we had to correct that. Um, and then we we worked on what made him unique. We wanted him to stand out. So we sat down with him, talked about what, what were the unique differentiators within his practice, and then we led with those. And by leading with those, we were we were not able to just help him show up in his market, but he was he was able to get the right message out there. When he first went with us, his original goal, and this is pretty impressive, was to, to bring in about 40 new patients a month. Yes, sir. Within 12 months, he was bringing in 140. Wow. That's amazing. So his what, what, were I love that story because it shows you that sometimes you just need the right key to unlock the thing that you need. And, and they're out there. The patients are out there. And that's just an inspiring story for all dentists that, you know, utilizing, sharing your unique awesomeness. That's what you should call it. Sharing your unique right. awesome, awesomeness, right. differentiating yourself. I love that. Well, you guys are amazing sponsors, resources. You share so much. You share complimentary books. People can text Fire Gang to 215-543-6454 to connect with you. Text Fire Gang to 215-543-6454. Is there anything else you'd like to share with our audience before we wrap up, Melanie? Absolutely. Um, you mentioned our book, and that is a, another great tool. Um, so you can text Fire Gang, obviously, to, to get in touch with us. But you can also go to firegang.com slash nachos, and we'll give you, any Dental Nachos member, a free copy of our expanded edition of our best-selling practice growth book, which we've provided to thousands of dentists across the country. Um, inside, you're going to learn everything you need to know about today's dental landscape, uh, what you really need to do to succeed, to grow your practice, to attract new patients. Um, we're covering a lot of different aspects, but the main ones are how to be different, how to show up more, and how to convert every opportunity into revenue within your practice. Um, or you can schedule a call with our awesome team, and we'll be glad to sit down for about 45 minutes and Look at what's what's what you're doing well, what's working well for you, and where there may be some opportunities for growth. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing, Melanie. I learned a lot myself. We really appreciate your support. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. So as you guys can see on Talking Nachos, we have an amazing program to help you live your best dentisting life. If you'd like to be a guest on Talking Nachos, reach out to us at dentalnachos.com. I would love for you to visit us at one of our in-person events. Go to dentalnachos.com and check out our events. Have a great day, everyone.